So this may be go to a three. Go to Bible verse three. So. One Peter, I wasn't looking, I just clicked and scrolled. I'm saying what's up to somebody to my right. Christian spouses. Hold on. I'm gonna turn inside this neighborhood real quick. Get away from these cars. And get in the shade. Spouses, one, one be wholesome. But they think I was reading it the whole time. No, I was just looking around, vibing, not trying to keep my head too much onto one thing. That's why I ain't post the Bible verse, some of these Bible verses, some days ago. I ain't want to get too worried, but at the same time. I don't want to feel like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> but the video is being so long. Up oh, here. It don't even matter. But Christian spouses. Likewise, you wives should be subordinate to your husbands. So that, alright, so subordinate means everything that you do in your subconscious should already be set into your husband mind. You know how, like, oh, the woman be like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm single, you know, I'm looking for a man. I'm a just subconsciously, y'all be looking at him. I see a rooster. Subconsciously, y'all be looking at him like, hmm, would he be a good fit? Oh, he look good right here. He look good right there. Okay, okay. All that. So, subordinate off the top. Everything you do, everything you thinking about, every time you look to your left and right, your husband should be on your mind when it comes to certain things. And when I say certain things, it mean certain mean exactly that. So your husband should be on your mind about exactly what's going on right there. You feel what I'm saying? So so on it to your husband so that even if some disobey the word, they may be they may be one over that they may be one over without a word, but a man, fly. It's a whole bunch of own oh, fruits and roosters right here. But pigeons likewise you should be subordinate to your husband so that even so even if hold on so even I'm getting bit up likewise you should be subordinate to your husband so that even if some disobey the word they may be won over without a word by they may be won over by a word by the wild saying so say somebody be like oh they walk up on you, be like, oh, he be like, I'm married, please, move move on. And they be like, I don't care about your husband, girl, like, what's up? Let me talk to you. So, the people who's disobeying the word, don't touch other people's wives. At least your wife be like, you know what, I'm going to just keep walking, because I can see his his evil attention is real deal, not where it's at. So, a word that your wife is not saying, not saying nothing, not even getting too deep into it, because he already know about the word. If he's saying he don't care about the husband, you feel me? That mean he know what's he know is a word. You feel me? But say if somebody like oh, oh you you got a husband like oh wow, and then be like and then basically you you can tell the oblivious from the um uh, you know 
The people who do know from the people who don't know. They must be won over without a word by their wives. Conduct by their wives' conduct, without a word by their wives' conduct, basically for how she move already. Two partnership when they observe your reverent and chastise your be chastise behavior when they observe your reverent. I'm gonna say your 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 righteous expanding vertical, the way you speak out, like basically saying I'm gonna say when you speak to your husband and you let him know what happened to your day. Okay. Uh, when when you observe your reverent and chastised behavior, basically saying, this is how I move, this is my behavior, this is how I move already, you know. So I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with what I already move with and how I already want to exemplify things for the natural living of my, my companionship. When you observe your reverent and chastised behavior, basically saying, oh, I'm going to rebuke that behavior. And so basically saying, oh, I'm going to rebuke you, then keep going on about my business, you know. Three, your uh your adornment should not be an external one. Your adornment should not be an external one. Braiding the hair, weaving, wearing jewelry, or dressing in fine clothes. Oh, your your adornment basically shouldn't be like oh you going out and you looking good like basically like like I said you look at you going around looking good in front of people, you know. And and basically you you eye candy to somebody like oh. Should, can I, am I able to pick her up and buy her and get the bulk of her love? You know, you only do that when your husband, you match your husband right there. Dang, 13. That nigga. But like I said, you right there in the, in the bonds with, with your loved one. So when you go out with him, boom, that's when you're supposed to dress out your husband. He royal, you feel me? So every time he walk out, he supposed to be, you feel me? Business attire to to his culture. Not saying, oh, I'm finna, I'm finna go out there and look like this. Same with you. Be business attire to your culture. If y'all, if y'all real deal like in the vibe, oh, we we like that, we like that Egyptian, that Egyptian style. You feel me? And then go out like that. Have your Egyptian own protection, your Egyptian earrings. Not fine garment. Fine garment is like, oh, y'all know exposing. It's just stuff that be exposing. You really don't got your own religion set upon you. You just got that, oh, I'm just for the dressing that. Let's see if somebody real deal like the way these everything curve off of me. You know? Your adornment, people who adorn, like, dang, I really adore her personality. I really adore the way she look, you know? Like, her, her body, her booty just popping, her titty just sitting out there, you know? With your Egyptian attire, you can wear a natural t-shirt with Egyptian on it, all the way up to the neck. Same with pants, you know, just natural sweats, even when it's shorts, you know? Just, just make sure you, you actually got Something that's with the attire that you finna get into. You finna go to the beach. Alright, bet that. Make sure make sure you cover up before you hit the before you actually get to the water. Hold up, hold up. You go in the church, you already know, cover that up. But when you with your husband, okay. However you dress is how you dress. However both of y'all pick Pick y'all style to go together and show other people, oh yeah, this, this is the type of flavor we real there mixing out today, you know? Oh, y'all, y'all wanna, like, I ain't gonna count. If we look at Egyptian, Egyptian own style wear, we got, some of the wear got the breast out. Like, not, not the top breast, the nipples, you know? But, Obviously, we hold way more respect than we do now. But like I said, it's all about it's everything. Everything gonna get bought into some type of respect. Every, nothing new under the sun, you know. But who you with and the power that you stand under. Really, they going to find what you really did be with. Because I know, I've I seen a lot of females who really did stand in the top of power. Like, even if you look at them, you really did won't get turned on no matter how fine they is. You know? 
they really get some type of step, like actually stepped onto them. So that's why I say, make sure that you go dressed out with your with your own royalty, you know, with your actual with your actual uh, your certification of who who your protector or what religion you really did set your set yourself in. Once you do that, you really are gonna find yourself being blessed upon what you set in front of you. But that's only with what you want your growth standard to be in. If you wanna cheat on your husband, that's what your growth gonna be in. You wanna be loyal to your husband, that's what your growth gonna be in. You know. Your adornment should not be external when you braiding your hair or like basically when you say braiding your hair, you know it's real when I'm really say braiding all this adornments, it's really there weaving your style, real there weaving your your own um, your real deal physical to look a certain way, you know. If you real deal like I'm a you say in your mind I'm available. Your physical look gonna look available. You say in your head, I'm not available. You really gonna look not available. Your energy is thoughts. God, remember, we was all created from water. We still got water elements in us. As soon as that thought bursts, that ripple comes into our DNA until our actual settings. You know? Once we do that, understand exactly how to read the put our energy into the ripple effect for the right way. That's when we really there gonna set out. And a lot of people, y'all can't be like, oh, money, money, money. What you gonna do with that next, you know? You got all the money in the world, you be like, I'm stable, I'm straight. And now a lot of people are like, oh, when I, when I get a whole bunch of money, I'm reading the Bible. Nah, you <laughs> ain't gonna get no real money until you read the Bible, so read the Bible right now. Look, it's also, I already put it in here. You can't get, you can't, you're not faithful for it with, with the small things. You're not going to be faithful with the big things, you know. And that's why you see everybody who really did big and made it, they really had to go through some tests. Like, oh, you finna be faithful with the small things, but, but you, as you see this generation, I know they're going to see this. They're going to have to change. They're going to have to make some type of congruency for their later life. It's only, it's only fair. That's the only thing it is. It's fair. If you if you want to roll forward on the Ferris wheel, you are gonna roll forward. You want to get on the one I roll backwards, you gonna get on the one I roll backwards. And I'm practicing patience with myself too. Ugh. And I ain't gonna count. I forgot. I don't forgot what I was. Oh. I ain't, I ain't really sad about it because I'm, I'm talking about it right now about the money, but I miss work. And I don't, I don't want nobody looking at me like, oh, this, this and that, you feel me? Yes, sir. I don't want no saying, oh, he missing this on purpose, he doing this on purpose. Nah, I ain't with that. You feel me? I really did. Like, I really, I'm, I'm wake up in the morning, I'm looking for my phone. I'm like, I could have sworn I put it on the charger. People calling it, I bet dead. I get on iCloud, I find out there. I'm like, dang. I'm like, I'm so I'm so in my head about dang where my phone went. Everything going through my head. I'm like, you know what? I don't forgot, I don't forgot I even had to go to work. I don't forgot the whole schedule. You know? I don't I should have took a picture of that bit. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, I know it, because I be trying to practice my memory. My family got a history of dementia, so I be trying to activate my memory again. But hey, I also said in this Bible, everybody with mental health, everybody with physical health, I'm gonna go through some type of some type of subject to that, you know. And I'm gonna make sure I rise in our power. Show you, look, you still get it through. I can't sit down too long, pins and needles. I can't stand too long, you know. My back, knees, ankles, toes, neck get to popping. Can't sit too long, can't stand too long. I can't even sleep too long. I mess around, start getting a headache. 
I can't stay up too long because when I get to talking, everybody start getting mad at me. And once I get mad, I know they're going to get stressed out and stress me out. I'm like, dang, you took it the wrong way. I'm trying to have fun. And, and you stressed out about the wrong thing. And now you stressing me out for the wrong thing. So I'm sitting here like, dang, I'm in the full corner bind. Your dormant should not, okay. But rather than the hidden character, but rather the hidden character of your heart, expressing the imperishable beauty of a gentle and calm disposition. Like I said, expressing the imperishable beauty. Like real deal, like you standing in your power, standing in your real deal, firmament of protection power with, with your with your DNA holders, the people who real deal hold protection of your DNA. Yeah, all right. It's a, it's a, it's a rock. Ha. Huh. It's a rock. Let me show you how a rock get it, get it. Many people want to stop it. I can't get it. I can't get it. I can't get it in it. I can't get in it. I can't get in it. <laughs> yes, sir, bro. 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. Take everything as an opportunity. Don't take everything as a view. I'm going to repeat that. Take everything as an opportunity. Don't take everything as a view. I'm going to repeat that. I said, ah, my third eye. Our third eye will complete that. And it did. Man, I don't even know what time. What is it? That bit just hit for. Which is precious, all right? Which is precious in the sight of God. Like I said, you really did hold it down to your foundation to who you worship. And it's like, everything gonna point back to God. If I really open up every single religion, who they who they really worship, that big gonna all point back to me, raw. You feel me? You can't tell nobody, oh, you're not this higher power. Nigga, I'm so higher power, I can sit here and test you. You feel me? I'm so higher power, you ain't gonna know who I am. That's the thing with everybody. People could be so high of power, you don't know what's going on. As I say, take everything as an opportunity to see what's going on around you. Don't take everything as a view. Like, oh, I view, I view the world like this, so I'm gonna go at that. Nah, look at the opportunity like, dang, this happening right here? Let me see what opportunities I went through. Let me see what opportunity I could get from right here. Let me see what I can learn from here. You know, let me see what I can gain from here. As soon as you take it as a view, you know, fucked up yourself and the people that also take views and don't even know how to take a, a, per, a opportunity. You know? When I say fucked up, you real deal fulfilled. Uncontrolled knowledge. Expanding dummies. You expand dumbness, guess what? You're gonna be in durable, upsetting manifestations. Materializing intuition, expanding sucks. Suckers. Straight like that. If, if, if you mad, I'm gonna tell you, if you mad, I'm gonna tell you yesterday was yesterday, then you're not in my circle, you feel me? And if you mad, I'ma tell you today is today, and tomorrow is tomorrow. If you mad, I'ma tell you that you're not in my circle. But how can we be mad that you say, "Oh yeah, you feel me now"? How can we be mad if you say tomorrow is tomorrow and tomorrow was tomorrow, just like that? How can you be mad? I say that dumbness right there gonna turn dummies into bigger dummies. You feel me? Like like it said, everybody born sinners. Everybody are, are born dummies. Not born dummies. Point blank period. What are sinners? People who do things and do it and do it and do it. And guess what? That shit is dumb. We just don't know. That's being dumb. See me? 
I could really just sit back and be like, yeah, I'm dumb as hell. I'll be like, oh, I jumped the fence and it said no trespassing. I'm dumb as hell. Nah. <laughs> I could really break this down. I'm really finna see if you really did finna say something. I'm dumber than a bit. I'm durable under manifesting beliefs. You feel me? Behavior. I jumped the fence to the, um, let's see. I jumped the fence to the, let's see, I'm gonna do you this one. I trust past Walmart. You feel me? I'm like, oh, they really did trying to put us in walls and make it a market. You feel me? I trust past that bitch. They say, you know what? I went right by the buggies where they push all the groceries out. I said, I'm, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna sit right here by the buggies. I'm gonna sit on the bitch. Y'all ain't gonna be able to do nothing. You feel me? All right, I left. I went and got some food. I let it know. All right, I got some food. I got some freedom. I got some real deal stuff we can eat for later. And I, I, I told the ladies, I picked up some pennies. I don't got no money, but I could get I could get some food. She loaded me up. Guess what the police did? It came and arrested me. I'm like, oh, so y'all trying to arrest people for the Bible? All right, watch this. I'm finna show y'all something. I'm finna use y'all police to real deal. Kick, kick away, kick away. This this weed I keep hitting on, you feel me? Finna real deal gain another understanding. Oh y'all wanna break my TV? Y'all y'all trying to break my system? Of speaking and singing? Oh y'all wanna mock me too? All right, watch this. Just like y'all did in slavery. Y'all real deal arresting me for no reason really, cause it was six o'clock. Make Walmart open up at six. Y'all real deal. Y'all real deal try to put me in the wall and try to market me off. And say, you know what, you ain't gonna be able to eat, you ain't gonna be able to do this, speak, none of that. I'm like, all right, bet that's what y'all feel. Let me show y'all something about manifesting. Manifesting on beliefs. I'm with the mob, bitch. Manifesting on beliefs. Beautiful, intuitive, trust and courageous, honesty, honesty, honesty. Expanding success. Y'all yeah, with the bitches. You feel me? You really gotta cut through stuff. You you can't you if, if they really did put a whole bunch of vines in front of you, what you gonna do? Be like, oh I gotta go another way. What did I bit circle with vines? Now you gotta start cutting through that bit, you know? Exactly how I move. Say, you know, I'm gonna just cut through this, cut through that, cut through all this right here. I'm gonna sit right in the heart. I sat right in the heart on that bit. I'm like, you know what? Oh, you can't run around in this bitch. All right, I see what they were doing in slavery. They real there saying, here, get enough to eat. And we're going to put our thoughts in. This is what they're doing. We're going to put our thoughts into this food. Since, like I said, everything water motion. You make it like this, you put it like this. If you root it with God, the words going to get trumped. You feel me? I'm eating the food, eating the food. They putting DNA in that there. They putting hit rid of their hair in my food. I'm like, oh, y'all putting hair? All right, if if y'all if y'all can't get trusted with the small things, you feel me? They already know y'all doing something way bigger than this. Y'all keep my food clean when I eat it, you know. You it's a single fucking hair, not like four five like oh damn they probably scratch real quick. Not a single fucking hair, bro. A single hair. All right, come. Cool. All right, I already know y'all y'all speaking over my food. Y'all doing food magic. All right, bet. That's all y'all doing, food. And then, and then y'all real deal. Put us in bonds, put us in slavery. That's that's the small hair y'all do. All right, bet. We got to go to the root of this, y'all. Just like I let them know. But guess what they already do? Because I already said it. Our, our motion, time is nothing. Energy is always a pinpoint. People could always see pinpoints, you know? If I if I type in the coordinate, if I type in the coordinate a thousand years ago, exactly to where I'm at right now, I'ma still be in that same pinpoint. It just, in time, material got put on top of it. Just like words, words got put on top of the pinpoint, you know? So, I already said this. So everybody around the universe, around the world, they're like, oh, make sure y'all have y'all law books. Make sure y'all understand this, you know? We can't sit here, be dumb. Open up that Bible, real deal fighting with this word. Because we beat them with that word, they ain't even going to have a chance to put no hairs on us. You know, they ain't going to be able to touch your hair of my chosen ones. Want to know why? Because we really going to have this word so deep and ruled it. It's really going to be just like that, you know? Now y'all know I don't even play. So I'm like, oh, 
I went into, like I said, I became just like y'all. I became a sinner. I became a dummy. But look, I can't deny myself. Once I understand the word, I can go and change everything I did. So if you, if like I said, I'm the only way. I'm the only light. You know? So if, if you like, oh, he ain't this, he ain't that, guess what you is? A dummy. Soon as you come through me, guess what I start doing? I start speaking through your whole life. You know, I'm like, I flip that, flip that, flip that around. And guess what? Since everything is word, your action is words too. I go flip them actions around and make it, oh, it was that, it was this. You feel what I'm saying? Even if you kill somebody, I could really flip that around too. But look, like I said, the dead is the dead. You know? Let the dead bury the dead. That's what this means. If it's not able to produce nothing, it's absolutely dead. Even that fig tree wasn't dead. It let you know, look, he can still speak things all the way down to non-existent, but that tree was still standing. It didn't, It just didn't produce no leaves, no fruit, no none of that. The dead is the void, something that you can't see at all. If I could get a message from off of something, it's not dead until it's in disapproval of learning something or bringing out value of learning something. Even even the people who real deal deny, 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 deny. We they they not dead because we get to learn something off of them. Oh, they dumb. I'm like, all right, y'all see they dumb. All right, bet. Let me go ahead and transmute this energy. Now they dead. Don't think about it no more because I don't want this conscious in the mix of our ripples or the water. You feel what I'm saying? Straight like that. For this is also how the holy women who hope in God ones used to adorn themselves and were subordinate to their husband. And this is how the holy women who hoped in God once used to adorn themselves were subordinate to their husband. Oh, basically, like like I said, they already in loot with God. So they like, oh, we we finna use, we finna use our culture, we finna use our understanding, we finna use our oh, since since we since we could close off our light, you feel me? To other men, let me get this pinpoint energy and speak life over it. You feel me? That's why it'd be like write, write down, write down really what you wanna um what you wanna see in life, what you wanna see in your husband, and it's gonna manifest. Write down what you wanna see in life, it's gonna manifest. Just like a woman, you feel me? You you speak over that pinpoint, it's gonna you gonna walk right into it. You type in them sub coordinates, it's gonna right into it, you feel me? Thus Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. You are her children. When you do what is good and fear no intimidation. Thus Sarah obeyed Abraham. I must I'm gonna break this down because obviously, look, you look at Sarah's name, look at Abraham's name. Do you know who Sarah and Abraham is? Absolutely not. So guess what you gotta do? You gotta do 2 Timothy 316 through 17. Sarah, Sarah. So if you say Ra, which is God's name, if you look at Ra, it's real actions. Ra, when you really have your wife, you really subordinate to your husband, your wife, you go in there and Ra. God said, I want y'all to multiply. You must multiply with your words. You must multiply with your actions. You say Ra, guess what you're doing? You really did go in there and Ra with all your information and using it for the greatest good. Shit like that. So say Ra, real deal, the actions of Ra, the actions of what Ra really telling you to do. I be Ra. You feel me? I can't deny myself. I'm always using 2 Timothy through 16 to 17. Like, like I said, I really can't deny. No matter what I say. Abraham calling him Lord. A bro. A bro. Him. Like I said, that's an ab absolute. Nazir Beckham. A bro. Him. Mr. Hot. Mr. Sun. H A M mean hot. They're like, hey, big bro, him, what's up with you? He said, calling him Lord, calling him the Lord dimension God, you feel me? Like right now, I'm not even, I'm not even lucid walking, you know? I, I, in my vision, I'm lucid walking, but to other people, they can't see how lucid I'm really there moving, you know? Because I really didn't move on a whole different, whole different frequency that everybody can see. They can really see with their bare eyes because I'm really tapping into their third eye activating what's really needed. So once I activate what's needed, everything getting put into the solar vision. Basically, like you can't you can't see exactly what the sun look like, but you can see the light. You can feel the heat. 
you are you are her children when you do what is good and fear no intimidation intimidation and tim it tim and tim it day mid tim mid all right bet so basically if you look at my name my name autumn they call me tim timu yes sir if they really did like oh we trying to show you you got no tim in you you got no exactly you don't got no word flippers in you you really know how to flip these words you really know how to flip people actions and learn from them they really did try to get in you and, and create an action that really called you into damnation. Oh, you fearing? They trying to bring you to damnation. You know. So once they once they put you in in a in a fear. Oh, you don't you don't know how to really flip your words around, and and it's gonna bring you in damnation. Whole time they in damnation already. But since if if, if you don't know how to flip your words around, you are gonna fear it. You feel me? You can't fulfill, like I said. Fear is fulfilling your ear. If in fear, no intimidation. You must fulfill your ear and know. What's inside of that Tim? Inside that Tim um, verse. So you can real deal get into the middle, into the heart of what that's real deal saying. So you can beat the damn nation off, beat all of the people down for it. Likewise, you husbands should live with your wives and understanding, showing honor to weaker female sex, since we are joint hires of the gift of life, so that their prayers may not be hindered. Just like he said, we, we, like, we real there gotta sit back and be like, oh, we know, we know obviously we could go pick up our wife, give it to her, where, where, where. We obviously could go and like, oh, she like, oh, I like this position. You could obviously work her. She obviously not gonna be able to turn you around and peg you. Keep it real, we more older than you think. She really not gonna turn around and peg you, you feel me? So just like this, yo, you, you and your wife talking, you're not she's not gonna be able to overpower her overpower you with her words so you must show honor to the weaker female you must allow her voice to real deal get into the bonds with you you know you must allow her word to real deal come over you too she you, you got to teach her look i understand what you're saying and once you understand what her, what she's saying and you really get in the joint and show higher power of each other Y'all gonna be straight, like, oh yeah. I can see what you talking about. I can see what you feeling. Hey boy, playing basketball. What's up? So I can see what you feeling. I can see what you doing. You, you, we, we both on the same page with the Bible verse. We, we reading the Bible at the same time. What up? Let me get a shot, Brody. What y'all, y'all try to play a game or something? <laughs> you said what? Intimidated. You intimidated? Yeah. What kind of bit? Man, I just I just play football, bro. I I ain't nobody to, you feel me? I don't hurt nobody. Come on. I gotta put. He he ain't playing. I got I gotta go put on some shoes. Y'all gonna wait? My house like right around the corner. All right, but they go one. Oh uh, oh, I ain't shooting so long. He, he with y'all though? Alright, bet, bet. Yeah, I'ma go put on some shoes. Put on. Yeah, that's it. Oh! I can't leave without one. Number one rule. <laughs> uh. Uh. Damn! <laughs> Did the man ready to shot the vibe of the shoot? Once I hit one, I'm making. Come on, I'll be back. What time is it? 140. Once I hit one, you already know what 40 is. That means hardship, hard work. You know, 40 Moses, 40 Jesus, 40 Noah. 40, it's just us. You feel me? It's just us. It's just us, one heartbeat. It's just the Moses. We must mosey on to know who I. 
you must know who your third eye is. You know? That's all it is. Once I hit one, once I hit one person, that you know that look, hey, our hardship, our hard work, real deal meant for this. You know, your prayers, like if say say you and your wife, say you the only one, say you the only look, this is how we gotta move it. Say we the only one reading the Bible, the husbands, and we really know Tim, and we really know how to how to real deal flip around these words. And and your wife, you praying with your wife. And like I said, use all your words. You use acronyms. You so deep into your acronyms, you know exactly what's being said. So you, you praying like this, that's how I pray. And I don't get in trouble. I just get more and more information. And it don't I don't get no information to hurt nobody. I don't get no information to kill nobody, none of that. I really can play like this, oh fuck you got this my oh you a dickhead guy, oh dickhead god, good you are. And then I can be like, oh dickhead, drive into what you create knowledge. You real deal birth new knowledge with your mind. You real deal expander. You feel what I'm saying? No real deal blessing to the Lord. You know? But I'm really there talking to myself. I'm really bringing affirmations to myself. I'm really there dreaming intuition, creating knowledge. I'm really there driving intuition, creating knowledge. You know? That's the life y'all must be in. It said, so oh, she, she might be like, oh, stop, stop praying like that. God gonna strike us down. He gonna ruin his whole house. And now you like, man, no, I'm not. Watch out. You don't know what I'm doing. And to her, she be like, oh, he just trying to be superior. He, he, he just, he gonna make it. I, I love him and I'm in a bind with him. Oh, I'm gonna have to divorce. Oh, our prayer, our prayer is saying, oh, find me a perfect husband, Lord. And since your husband know the perfect word, but guess what? He ain't sharing it. He ain't spreading the gospel. The God spells. So it's like, man, you ain't spreading the God spells. You messing up the prayers. You hindering the prayers. She hindering the prayer by stopping you. And on top of that, she's stopping you because you ain't telling her what's going on. You know, Christian conduct. Finally, all of you be of one mind, sympathetic, loving toward one another, compassionate, humble. Do not turn evil for evil, insult for insult. But when, but on the contrary, you gotta bind yourself and tell the highest. No, I know you feel me as I rock to the flow. Many people want to die, but we cannot go. I got love for you, do you got love for me? I'm telling you, my bro, my sister, my sister, my bro, my sister, my sister, my sister, my bro. Gotta rock it, rock it, rock it, rock it, rock it, roll. Talk about the love over hate, double R, it be raw ray. Rock it, rock it to the flow. Florida, FLA, FLA, first love bombing. Gotta keep on going. I'm really the shaman. S H A, I never do the shit. Shit. Shame towards you. But I be shaw. I be shaw. My everything be the shaw. Strong hearted affirmations. Uh huh. They be negolations. Nazir intuitively gaining great affirmations. All right, bet like that. Because to you, this you were called for that might and hearing a blessing for it. So, like I said, you really show love to each other, not evil for evil, really saying, oh, I ain't gonna tell you what I'm saying, I ain't gonna tell you what you're saying. So, because you, you, you may have a whole nother acronym for fuck, and I may do too, but we looking at each other like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And they be like, everybody, and then y'all might come down, like everybody come into a man's. If y'all come into a man's, it be like, hey, what energy you got from that? And be like, man, bro, I was just wrong. I was sorry. I was wrong too. Y'all ain't spending nothing. Y'all just, you feel me? Y'all just killed the fire. It's still sizzling. Y'all really said that words in the universe. And now y'all really messing up the gospel. Whole time y'all be like, man, oh, I don't think we was on the same page. Whole time y'all both got two different meanings of fuck. So when you go into the right and he going to the left, both y'all right about you, what y'all saying. But since y'all like, oh, I ain't going to spread exactly what I'm saying yet because I don't know who this, I don't know who this person is, this entity. So I'm like, oh. This what I was saying. This what I was trying to get to. And but man, I was trying to get to this. But whole time y'all stuck on this one word, that one little piece of grain. You know? Now sawdust. Y'all need to look at like, oh, what what you meant by this sawdust that you threw at me? Oh, it was it was this sawdust. You feel me? It was just a minor flake. You're like, oh, so spell like that acronym. Oh, y'all got two different meanings. Oh, okay. Well now y'all just expanded. Y'all really did, did it. Yeah, I really did the driven intuition, creating knowledge, man. You know? So once y'all put yourself in a fruitation, always expand. Always let each other know what's the greatest thing for each other. Well, what what y'all really got from the Bible, that's what y'all should let each other know. What y'all got from the Bible. You know? And for that, you'll get a blessing. For whoever will 
whoever will love life and see good days must keep the tongue from evil. You must keep your tongue away from back and forth talking and doing blasphemous. Basically saying, oh, I ain't gonna tell you what I'm saying. Basically, and the lips from speaking deceit. You real deal. You saying that word. You saying that word. Like I said, you saying fuck, 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 fuck. But you're not really showing them exactly what the, what you're saying. You real deal hiding it from them. You real deal lying. Hello. You must turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and follow after it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. Good. I'm gonna go to the basketball court. Oh, all right. <laughs> what again, that? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the basketball court. Huh? I'm gonna go to the basketball court. Yeah. All right, let you grand that. Ears turn away from their prayers, but the face of the Lord is against evil doers. All right, always turn, always turn to the Lord. You know, you know what your prayers already were saying. So go to it, man. I love seeing dark, bro. Cause it's like, dang, it's so much mystery right there. And I'm, I'm not talking about dark souls. I put this in, I put this in a um, parable on my Instagram story. Um, so it's basically, dark isn't dark. Dark is void. You actually see nothing in, in the void. Dark is real deal. Another shade of a color. Well, if I got orange, I'm just going to a darker shade of orange. That's what dark is. You can still see it as long as you hold the light factors. I don't know what shoes to wear. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna look at the value of everything. I got some all black screw. I'm gonna be straight. And the Lord that mentioned God, basically saying, and you ought to say the Lord that mentioned word, the lower word. If you don't listen to the low word, the lower bills of low words, or you didn't listen to the word, the lower word, or the love word. Like I said, two ways to go things. You go to the lower word, or you go to the love word. Your lower word is just, just a plain, um, it's a plain fuck, just a plain dick. You go to the love word, love is always expanding, correct? Driven intuition, creating knowledge, future understanding, creating knowledge. I just, I just put it, I just put those so I could quickly expand your mind, you know? A lot of a lot of these words, a lot of these energies really got misinterpreted. Like less. That's actually a superpower. Um uh, where the temptation. A superpower. With less. You can obviously snap to something so fast. Like look. Like you could like say say you getting up one day, right? You're know, like, man, I don't wanna get up to work. But if you snap up and hurry up and get up, you're gonna beat that demonic attack. Or um, temptation. Oh you feeling you, you feel like you don't wanna you don't wanna really uh, use like you could use it for priorities, basically. You wanna brush your teeth real quick. But you're like, man. I really want to feel my teeth white, but I need—I feel like I need to hurry up and go outside for something. But man, traditionally, 
we don't we don't brush our teeth outside. Man, fall into that um that temptation, brush your teeth outside and go walk. You never, you never know. The person talking that the person you need to talk to, he might he might get to talking for a whole for a whole twenty minutes. And he like, I just want you to hear something real quick. Don't you don't gotta say nothing. You feel me? And he like, man, that's perfect. He like, I needed you to say, I need you to say nothing at all. He like, dang, I'm glad I felt the temptation to brush my teeth outside. You gotta use them things for good. Don't don't turn your ear and say, oh no, nah, temptation is exactly this. You listening to the lower word. Nah, listen to the lower word. Listen to things that will span with what you don't do what you do traditionally. You must break away from cycles. Everybody like break away from generational curse, but they stay inside of it. And they tell the other people, can you break us from the generational curse? And then they stay inside of it. They think, they think like, you don't have a curse if you don't see it. You feel me? You don't see a curse, guess what? You're not gonna be in out there. See me, I don't see no curse. Everybody looking at me like, oh, you got to be the one to break up generational curse. I don't even see the curse y'all talking about. And like, I'm looking like, man, there's normal life stuff. You feel me? But since I'm, 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 I don't even look like I'm in normal life. I'm at higher life. Everything that happened to me, everything said to me, I take a handful of that salt and I go season a whole pot, a big pot of food. You feel me? I really did grub for days. I really did everything that's doing to me. I really go salt the road. I go salt that, that heart cold road. You know? I make sure everybody drives safely. But to me, that's like, oh, we just going through. What, look, look, if you the Bible, it say nothing, nothing is guaranteed or gave to you without hard work. So I'm looking at it like, dang, you just gotta go through hard times sometimes. You can't, you can't, you can't build, uh, you can't build a, a stair from the tree down to the small pieces without getting a splinter. Next time you gonna know wear gloves, you know. But don't fall into, don't fall into the wrong temptation. Christian suffering. I, I'm gonna say I'm ready the whole thing. Like I said, you gotta you gotta know what powers you can really use with the word, with your real deal actions. You gotta understand your higher power and who do it around you. You gotta understand what you need for your life and how you dissect it, and real deal dissolve the salt. If it's too much salt, learn how to pour that liquid water on there. Basically, your higher power, your higher power that liquid water. They really know how to flow through that. Make sure you get that liquid water they're trying to pour for you to dissolve that salt into an evil and mixture so you can get some good drinks on. You can get some good, ready nutrients. Once you do that for yourself, you do that for more people. It's love over hate, it's rotten.